Hi guys, I'm Kelly Love, one of the co-founders of Branch Basics, and I got the chance to talk to Dr. Zach Bush, the founder of Ion Biome, a product that we've shared with y'all that I love and have been using for years. And I talked to him about uh, cleaning and sanitizing and how that impacts our microbiome. And as some of you know, our microbiome not only um, impacts our gut health, but also our brain health, our immune systems, and so much more. So here are a few highlights that I wanted to share with y'all. Could you just give us a very basic, simple terms definition of the microbiome? The microbiome is the microorganism ecosystem that lives in and around the human body. And uh, over the last 10 years, we've had a massive revolution in the science world that's revealed that the human cell is bizarrely not at the center of human health. The human cell and the population of those 70 trillion cells that would compose our body revolve around this ecosystem of microorganisms, of bacteria, fungi, protozoa, and the like. These little tiny microorganisms create a balanced ecosystem, sort of like a coral reef or uh, you know, a Costa Rican jungle, where you get these tens of thousands of species of plants and, and animals and all this that live together in a habitat that creates balance. And we cr were developed as a mammalian you know, genomics and a mammalian you know, species through the, the long coordinated efforts of these single-celled microorganisms that have allowed multicellular life to occur. And so this is where your work uh, with Branch Basic is so import important because uh, we have been spending the last 150 years trying to kill all the microorganisms around us. We developed a theory that we should just be sterile all the time. And now we've learned over the last 30 years and especially over the last 10, that the sterilization of humanity is actually crushing our immune systems. And at no point in history has it been more obvious than with this pandemic that we right. have developed a severe vulnerability to the ecosystems around us. Would you share like what your, your uh, practice is or how you think of it with cleaning? Yeah, the concept is really around one of balance rather than domination, right? And so right. we're not trying to dominate the, the ecosystem. We, we shouldn't sterilize the ecosystem around us. We should be in balance with it. And so to do that, we need to look at it the way nature does her work. And to create balance in any environment, water is the key. And so water is the best detergent we have on the planet and is the safest detergent we have on the planet. We have gotten away from water-based, you know, uh, cleansers towards alcohol cleansers, uh, as an example, or small molecule chemicals as cleansers. And in that, we have created, you know, this warfare-like mentality against the microbiome. And the microbiome then has to adapt. And in its adaptation, we get an unbalanced ecosystem. And so we get drug-resistant bacteria in hospitals, for example, and the like. So it's through our, our warlike mentality that we create problems within the microbiome. And then we blame the microbiome as if it's a, you know, some terrible germ. And then we justify even more aggressive you know, killing methods for that microbiome. When in fact, it was our own, you know, our own toxicity, our own toxic attack that led to those abnormal, unbalanced you know, relationships to that microbiome. Yeah, so people often, I feel like here, you know, you don't want to wipe out the good bacteria. And so that's kind of what you're saying, you know. Um, so in that, I mean, during this time, you know, people are getting info from, at all angles thrown at them. Um, and some people might be really scared and, you know, don't want to risk anything or think it's safer, like you're saying, just to go all out and wipe out everything. Um, so what is like the simple advice you give to people? The simple advice is to be in touch with nature as much as possible. And when we're in touch with nature, uh, we reach that balanced state. And so in our homes, that means a lot of fresh air, a lot of, you know, movement of of the garden in and out of the house. And so when you go and harvest food from the, your own backyard garden or from the local CSA and you bring that into the home, you're creating you know, that, that stimulation. Uh, pets have a really, you know, especially dogs, have a, a powerful way of bringing microbiome and, and nutrient into the, into the air and you know, surfaces of homes. And so it's, it's through this kind of thing. Children are really good at bringing the outdoors in if they're encouraged to go outdoors at all. 
And so whether it's the children or the puppies or whatever it is in your household, these are the ways in which you can bring the microbiome from outside. And our tendency is as soon as that dog or kid, you know, comes into space to start to, to sterilize things. Yeah, to clean up. And that's, right. that's the wrong response in the end. <laughs> So what 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 do you think is the right response? Just wipe it with wipe it all up, but not not necessarily try and like disinfect. Yeah, water is a good balancing act, and so you know if you've got you know mud and junk's been carried in, certainly wiping down surfaces with a mild a mild you know water based compound, you know soap is is fine from a, a standpoint of you know cleaning up you know more entrenched oil-based mess and things like that. Um, but water is usually adequate for the vast majority of, of your, your cleaning efforts. And uh, if you're gonna put compounds in there, you wanna make sure they're naturally occurring. What we wanna avoid are the strange, you know, alcohol-based chemicals and the surfactants and all of these things that tend to sneak into the, the modern day chemical cleaners. Well, okay, one last question. Um, hand washing versus sanitizing. Your thoughts? <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah. The skin is its own ecosystem, and so it's very important, just like the gut, that we start to embrace the understanding that the skin should have, you know, hun hundreds of thousands of different organisms there, tens of thousands of species of bacteria and fungi, and all these things with their their niche uh, environments within the skin. And so, again, water is your best base, and so and getting in. A, in the habit of rinsing your hands instead of soaping and, and alcohol in your hands every time you, you touch uh, something is a good place to begin. You know, if you've got you know a significant contamination going on, you know, the, the classic example in medicine is you're doing surgery on a limb that's been infected and it's gangrene in Civil War times. And if you don't wash your hands after that, then you can pass that abnormal microbiome on to somebody else. So if you're in an environment of unhealthy microbiome, whether it's you know sick kids and changing diapers and whatever it is, then it makes sense to, to soap your hands at that moment. But again, a naturally occurring soap rather than an alcohol-based cleanser is important. Alcohol-based cleansers and a lot of the small molecule cleansers out there tend to break down our barrier of our skin. And uh, they may leave it 99.9% you know, .9 devoid of bacteria, but that's in and of itself isn't necessarily a good thing, but more dangerous is it's breaking the, the barrier system of the skin by over drying it. And so you don't want to use uh, drying agents uh, across the skin because you're ultimately leaving yourself more, more vulnerable, not more protected. Right. I actually just saw pictures yesterday of burns on the back of little kids legs from sitting in the shopping carts that have been wiped down. Um, so just from their skin, you know, being up against the, the, sanitizers so okay well this was super just helpful for breaking this down because I know so many people are confused and don't know what's best so really appreciate you taking the time to share this with us thank you Dr. Awesome Bud. you bet